Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. See General Hospital's Chad Duell for the fans' new video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You're going to have to forgive the puns, but there was another obvious one we resisted. We can't really help ourselves when our brains hit adorableness overload. And that's what happened when General Hospital's Chad Duell, Michael, hit us with a picture perfect post courtesy of his Saint Berdoodle. Or is it Bernadoodle? Ed, just look at that caboodle. Rose couldn't have pulled off a better pose for Jack on the Titanic if she tried. While Duell and girlfriend Luana Lucci are expecting their first child any day now, judging by the photo below, the pet parents are going to have their hands full as their four-legged kids vie for attention with a new two-legged sibling. Check out the photo below that Duell captioned, feeling cute. Might delete later. Luckily, he didn't delete it, and the fans are able to swoon over that doodle pose to their heart's content. Between that and photos the day before with cat, dog, and actor all living together in harmony, watching Hurricane Hillary blow on by, hopefully you'll hit your cuteness quotient until baby Duel's arrival. We know these posing pets certainly brightened our day. Woo, we made it through the rest of this perfect post without any more puns. Darn it. Ah, uh, well... Never mind. We'll just close this tale out with all the best wishes for Duel, Lucci, their fur babies, and their baby, who should be showing up at any time now. The walls are closing in on Gladys this week on General Hospital. Deservedly so, considering how she trapped poor Sasha in Ferncliff, and the mother-in-law from hell turns to a surprising source for help. As Selena demands Gladys pay her debts and sleazy Dr. Montague, puts the squeeze on her for hush money. The cash-strapped conniver is rapidly running out of options. Gladys is in an awful situation, portrayer Bonnie Burroughs to pull soap opera digest. She feels massive guilt for what's happened to Sasha. And while Gladys is the one who landed her in Ferncliff in the first place, Burroughs said her character did not mean for this incredibly dangerous and harmful thing to happen to her. Well, Gladys, that's why you should have sent her to the spa jail, Spring Ridge, instead. But we digress. Increasingly desperate, she begs Nina to float her the money she needs. It's the only option she can think of. Burroughs explained of the turn to Sasha's almost mom. Of course, Gladys is a weasel initially and tries to paint a picture of needing to cover Sasha's medical bills. A suspicious Nina doesn't buy that bunch of balony but Gladys tap dances well enough to cover her own butt while pointing the finger at Dr. Montag. She does admit she's got a gambling problem and that this sleazy doctor isn't going to release Sasha from hell unless he gets paid, said Burroughs. Nana finally relents and decides to bail out the beleaguered bee with an itch, but with one major string attached. She wants to tell Sonny. It's getting pretty intense. Burroughs warned of Gladys' predicament. That's going to be an understatement if and when Sonny finds out what his crooked cousin has been up to. With the list of people gunning for Gladys growing ever longer, she better grab a sleeping bag for her visit with the fishes.